These days, many employees find themselves with responsibility for digital marketing, even though they've never run this before. This might be because their employers have had to cut ties or limit their work with agencies due to budget constraints. So what happens if the employees don't have the experience or the time to keep up the results as the agencies used to do? We've put together a series of our top tips on how to get started and avoid the most common mistakes when you don't have that much experience with marketing. And this is one of those series. Today we're going to talk about A-B testing. I'm Helen from Singlot and let's get into it. So today I wanted to share with you my top four tips on how to get started with A-B testing. A-B testing is, simply put, the process of testing your audiences, your campaigns, your creative and so forth to allocate budgets where the results are the best. A-B testing can be a great way to improve your results on a short amount of time, but it can also cause a lot of headaches if you're not doing it right. Therefore, here are my top tips on how you can A-B test and at the same time avoid the most common mistakes. 1. Keep it simple. 2. Start small and then scale up. Three, set aside some budgets for testing. And four, don't stop at social media. Just to elaborate a little bit, number one, keep it simple. It can be very overwhelming to get started with A-B testing. Therefore, we recommend that you choose one or two metrics to test, for instance, your audience or your ad picture and start with there. Then once you're more comfortable, you can test different angles and much more different things to start small than scale. One of the great benefits of having A-B testing is that you don't have to allocate loads of budgets where you don't know if it's working. We recommend that you start by testing small budgets and see where the results are great and then you allocate budgets to where the results are the best. This way you really benefit from using A-B testing in your marketing and not just as a kind of before and after way of reporting. Our customers see great results from this and many of them find that they save both time and budgets. 3. Set aside allocated budgets for testing. Many people forget that A-B testing, though it can help you save budget, is not free. And we also know that when you A-B test, there is a higher risk of some of the things you're testing not working. Therefore, we recommend to set aside some allocated testing budget that is sort of disposable, if you will. That way, you're way more likely to get the most out of your real advertising budget and it will definitely benefit you down the line. And four, don't stop at social media. Many people forget that you can actually A-B test pretty much every part of your marketing the best marketers out there, they use A-B testing continuously in their newsletters, on their landing pages and so forth. And you can definitely do the same. There is no limit to what you can actually A-B test. So I recommend that you get out there, you start testing and you see what works. If you want to see more details about each of these points, you can read the blog post that we've made. We definitely recommend setting aside some time to get into A-B testing and you'll notice that it can save you both budget and time, but it is important to do it right. We've created a series of other advice and tips that we hope will be useful for especially those of you who've recently had to start working with marketing and you can have a look at them in our profile. If you would still like help with marketing or you don't really know where to get started, we offer a free consultancy service where we help you sort out your goals and discover where your needs are. If you're interested in this, just get in touch with us in the comment field below or send us a message and we'll get back to you and sort out the call. We really want to hear from you as well if there's other issues that you're experiencing and you would like us to cover them in our next series. If so, just comment below and let us know. Thanks for watching today. Until the next time. Bye.